keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students hello students a warm welcome to all of you once again today we are going to start with chapter 2 the living world there are various things in our environment as shown in the picture all these things can be categorized under two main categories living and non living human being animal birds insects plants all this come under the category of living things whereas stone comb table socks car doll all this come under the category of non living things there are many kinds of plants and animals around us they show some similarities and some differences yet with the help of certain features we can tell that they are all living things these features are not seen in non living things such features are said to be the characteristics of living things let us study these characteristics characteristics of living things that we are going to study in this chapter are as follows growth food is necessary for growth respiration excretion responsiveness to stimuli and movement reproduction a definite life span and a cellular structure let us start with the very first characteristic that is growth these pictures show the stages you go through as you grow from a baby into an adult the stages are baby toddler child teenager and finally adult during growth the baby gains height weight and strength as shown in the picture like human beings all plants and animals also grow in a certain period in all plants it is mainly the width and height of the stem that grows also some plant develop branches animals grow only for a certain period plants on the other hand grows as long as they live next characteristic is food is necessary for growth all living things need food to grow can you identify what this picture is about yes correct it is showing a process called photosynthesis which is carried out by plants to make their own food plants make their own food in the form of carbohydrates with the help of chlorophyll that is present inside the leaves sunlight water nutrients in the soil and carbon dioxide that is present in the air all this are used by the plant to make their own food this process of food production takes place in the leaves of the plant and it is called photosynthesis during this process oxygen gas is released by the plants 
the process of photosynthesis is shown here with the help of an equation. Sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. All these three things are used by the plant and the outcome is glucose, sugar that is carbohydrates plus oxygen that is released by the plants. Animals however do not have chlorophyll. They do not produce their own food. They search for food. Animals like goats, sheep, horses etc. they eat grass. While wild animals such as tigers and lions meet their needs for food by hunting other animals which live on plants. Human being depends on plant and other animals for food. Now the next characteristic is respiration. Living things need oxygen in order to live. Inhaling oxygen and exhaling the carbon dioxide formed in the body due to the use of oxygen is called respiration. Figure shows the process of exhalation and inhalation in our body. You can see lungs the second one is rib, ribs, it is also called rib cage. About ribs or rib cage, you will study in your chapter 8, that is the skeletal system. And third one is diaphragm. So, 1, 2, and 3, all these things, lungs, ribs, and diaphragm, they are used during the process of respiration in our body. Exhalation of carbon dioxide and inhalation of oxygen. So inhalation, exhalation. This process continues during the process of respiration. Different living organisms have different organs for respiration. In human being, the main important organ is lungs. In this picture, you can see different animals having different organs for carrying out the process of respiration. Spider is having book lung, that is lungs for respiration. Chicken, it has lungs for respiration. Fish, it has gills for respiration. Caterpillar has spiracles, it is not visible over here. But it has spiracles for carrying out the process of respiration. And finally sponge. Sponge is an animal which do not have lungs or any other respiratory organ. But here the process of respiration is carried out by its surface. You can see across the surface the inflow and the outflow of the gases. In plants, there are microscopic pores inside the leaves which carry out the process of respiration. Next characteristic is excretion. Observe these pictures carefully. It shows the characteristic of excretion in different living things. Waste substances are formed during the process that takes place in the bodies of animals. These are called excreta and the process of eliminating them from the body is called excretion. Animals have specific organ for excretion like they have organs for respiration, they also have organs for excretion. They also excrete by sweating. Exhaling carbon dioxide is another form of excretion. Plants too excrete. Some plants shed their leaves. Waste substances stored in the leaves is shed along with the 
leaves. The remaining characteristics will be covered in the next session. Thank you so much.